What's your name? So then they're like, well, 
maybe it doesn't really work because it only works for 40 out of 1,000. Why would we, would we really prescribe it to everybody if it didn't work? Or, yes? Can you say on the next one, do you use the placebo as well? Yes, we use the placebo as well. So then that also, do you need the placebo that would change the placebo? Yeah, well, we'll get into that. So it changes, makes things a little more complicated. So, um, yeah, and then, or you can do the side effects. So we gave the medicine to 1,000 people and 500 of them died. Would you give that medicine to a, a patient? Because they have a percent chance of death. Yeah, so you, it's really important to get the data. Why do we need to use statistics, like that huge process of collecting a lot of data, instead of just doing one, one thing or another thing, just one at a time? Yes. Um, I would say that we need to use the statistics because um, that we're human, right? We can't keep everything like in our hands, so you need to know where it's stored. And we said, why not do it in small spaces or like small people or whatever? Well, let's say I wanted to know how. Um, people feel about, I don't know, pink berry, okay, pink berry, yeah. the yogurt place, I it's my favorite, so I have to use that. Um, I can go out and just ask like two random people on the street, do you like pink berry? And they would say, yeah, they would say yes or no. And then I would, I would say, okay, I'm done. Do you have a bigger sample size? Okay, why do you need a bigger sample size? Okay, so then you could have just randomly stumbled upon two people that like pink beard. Maybe they were hanging out in front of pink beard, and so it was sort of biased. Um, so in general, a lot of people know what statistics is. They use statistics. They read papers about statistics. But a lot of people don't really know why we need this field. And so you guys can feel free to write this down. It is important to use statistics because we can find out whether something we observe, these two people that like pink berry, can be applied to new or different situations. If these two people's results can be applied to generalize for the whole population. Okay, so it's, I'll say that again. We use statistics to find out whether something we observe can be applied to new and different situations. So the answer, I will sort of finish this part of the conversation. Um, it's true, the, the more people you sample, the more accurate you can say your results are. But that's not always true because, like you, some of you said, sometimes your sample's biased. You go to a salt club, of course, all of them are like salt. Um, and then sometimes just randomly, you have stumbled upon people who don't represent the general population. For some reason, maybe your eye is drawn and you're biased to a certain kind of person. So it wouldn't be, it would be a bias cycle and you could not generalize it to the population. So this brings me back to the whole field of statistics. Like statistics is used to, to determine whether your sample represents the whole population. And there is thousands of different tests that can be done and people have spent hundreds of years determining tests to, to, to say for almost complete, like, complete sureness that, is that, is that a word? Be complete, almost completely sure that your sample represents the population. And we'll learn some of those tests. But that's what statistics is used for, because otherwise we can sit here and discuss whether you guys represent the general population or not, okay?